Hi, I'm Clayton Rainfrost. I'm 19 and I'm from Southampton in the UK. Hi, my name's Thomas Fleming. Uh, I'm 19 years old from Hatfield Broad Oak. I'm a senior X30 driver for DHR. It must have been from about 2008 when I was five or six years old. Uh, I went around Buckmore Park in a Bambino and then I bought my first car and uh, got round in a WTP, just a little zip. And I uh, was going around places like Cambly, Forest Edge, Buckmore, anything local really. Uh, so I started karting at Rye House um, in Minimax back in 2015, I think. I um, must have been 13 at the time. Uh, that's when I started like, probably karting. And then from then on, I moved into Junior X13 2016, and it's just gone from there. The highlight of my year has been at Kim Bolton in the British Championship. Um, just there, I managed to wipe the floor really, um, really dominated it. I uh, wasn't really expecting it. I've not been around there lots, but um, I just guess I took to the track really well and just everything gelled well, everything came together. Uh, my highlight for this year has to be the double header win at Larkel. Um, just a perfect weekend for me and the team getting maximum points. It's really put us in a great place coming into the last round. To win the 2021 season, it really mean a lot to me. Um, just haven't had a big win sort of thing in two th since 2018, especially with the team either. They've, we've had a few couple of years where we've struggled a little bit just because um, I've been in and, in and out of the team doing other bits and there's been a lot of things going on over the last two years, but we're back fighting and we can definitely be in a chance of winning it this weekend. We're going to go for the win this weekend on track as well, um, but we'll see what happens with the championships. It's going to be a tough one all the way, uh, tough one all the way through up against the likes of Fleming and Turner and Platten. It's really close between the four of us going into this last round. To become British kart champion for 2021, it'd mean, it's hard to describe in words for me, but um, it'd mean a lot because I want to do it for the boys, the team, I want to do it for my parents, um, you know, to make them proud and also for myself to, uh, you know, as a personal accolade, I'd, I'd do anything to win it. Well, that was uh, really nice to hear from Clayton Ravenscroft and Thomas Fleming. Uh, the championship situation is still quite delicately poised. Here is a look at the starting grid. Pole position will be driver number four, Thomas Turner, and yesterday's race winner, Caden McCream. Clayton Ravenscroft, your championship leader, starts in the inside of road two alongside 2019 Rotax champion, Guy Cunnington. Harry Platten and Archie Tillett round out row three with Aaron Walker and Gus Lawrence rounding out row number four. On row number five, we have Lewis Mackey and Thomas Fleming with it all to do from 10th to the grid. Caleb Marshall and Brad Pennell are on row six. Sam Heading and JP Sleater on row seven with Ben Watson and Louis Johnson Cool rounding out row number eight. Row nine, Jamie Rogers and Connor Clifford Row 10, hopefully they're all okay after that nasty accident in the last seat. Dan Butterworth and Casper Scusa. Oscar Joyce and Ben Higgins on row 11 with Marcus Littlewood and Daryl DeLay on rounding out row number 12. Row 13, an all Irish row 13, Alan Fitzgerald and Alex Kobe with Oliver Greetham starting shotgun on the field, hopefully with his radiator hose attached. Hopefully so. Yes, now, let's look at the, have all come out. So first of all, well done to the teams mm. uh, and the mechanics for getting the damaged carts from that earlier race all back out there. Turner McQueen will get a, a, a championship update after they complete one lap, but Turner is first, Ravenscroft is third, and Fleming is tenth. They are your three remaining title contenders. We will go around again. Oh, there we go. So false start. The Senior X30. So I shall enlighten you with yep. the story of the Senior X30 season so far. Please Alessandro do. Serenetti won the opening round at Shellington from Ravenscroft and Lewis Mackey. Ravenscroft dominated at Kimbolton at every lap of every heat. He uh, beat Thomas Turner and Harry Platten in that final. Double header at Lark Hall. We heard Thomas Fleming talk about it. Two wins for Fleming. Ravenscroft came second in the first final, but then Harry Platten, who finished third in final one, he won final two with Lewis Gilbert. Uh, Finishing in third place at Rowra last time out. It was Thomas Turner winning from Gus Lawrence and Harry Platten. And yesterday, McQueen beat Aaron Walker and Lewis Mackey. Of course, this class has belonged to Danny Curl for the last two years. He has eight wins uh, since the start of 2019. Clayton Ravenscroft has five. 
Uh, Thomas Fleming has three. Mark Kimber and Thomas Turner have two apiece. And then Gus Lawrence, Callum Bradshaw, Alessandro Serenetti and Caden McQueen all have one race win. The Jade Racing team have eight wins in total. KR Sport have five. Strawberry Racing have four. Dan Holland has two. A win each then for Mark Litchfield Racing, Fusion Motorsport, BMR Restarts, V Motorsport and Croc Promotion. Last year, here at PFI, Danny Curl won the first final. Clayton Ravenscroft won the second final. Two years ago, Clayton Ravenscroft won both finals. Wow. There we go then, into the tram lines. Here we go, Green Flag Senior X30 final is go, and it's a great start then from Thomas Turner. The four plate takes the early lead again, holding on to that one from pole position as they come up the hill. Ravenscroft still there in second, has managed to get the jump on Caden McQueen as they go over the bridge. All the drivers in, all the drivers out, nicely done. Down the hill towards hairpin number one, the cuts fan out all the way across this circuit and now hard the brakes around the first hairpin you see them all bobbling around coming over those grass blocks at the exit of that uh, corner into hairpin number two uh, Turner still leads but Ravenscroft going for it well Clayton Ravenscroft told us he was going to go for it and he is he leads McQueen up into second Turner gets shoveled back to third to fourth and now by Guy Cunnington to fifth they'll come across the line and we will see where things stand there or oh, they all run a little bit wide coming through the middle portion of the uh, Mike Wilson complex at the end of lap number one. Ravenscroft, 882 points. Turner, 858. Fleming, 857. There you have it on your screen. So at the moment, Ravenscroft has his yellow flags, though, out on the banking. And McQueen comes out in front. Where's Ravenscroft? Oh. Ravenscroft looking down, looking down a problem. Oh, no! Clayton Ravenscroft has a problem. The number 75 KR Sport cart pulls to the side of the circuit. He's still going, but he's at half speed. What has happened there? He's looking down. Oh, my word. Clayton Ravenscroft. What has gone wrong? Now, what is that? Uh, there's a... What's that pup doing? Uh, on the uh, on his radiator let's have a little look down there it's a, it's certainly it's that doesn't seem to be on anyone else's cart maybe that's the problem now what can Clayton Ravenscroft do what can he do he's going to try and work, yeah the side of the, the side of the engine there there's something hanging down from that engine um well we don't know maybe maybe one of our eagle-eyed spotters uh, on the live chat the race could tell me what that is and why. I mean, look at the uh, all the radiators on all the other carts, and then you look at Ravenscroft and something. Yeah, that that, that pump is it's it's very much, it's more prominent than on all the other carts. And I'm not saying that's a problem, but it certainly is in a different position. There is Harry Platten. Now, see the pump on his cart. It's much lower. It's not sticking up as much. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening to Harry Platten as well because he's actually behind Clayton Ravenscroft at the moment. Uh, he has dropped. 22 places. I think that uh, out of our sight, that yellow flag was for a collision between Platten and uh, Ravenscroft. I think you could be right. Uh, well, that has certainly shaken things up in this uh, championship standings because now... Well, oh, I would. let's look at the point standings, ladies and gentlemen. Please do. Let's have a look. There's Lewis Mackey with the fastest lap of the race. There are the points. Ravenscroft with 872. First and Thomas Turner's 860. And uh, Thomas Fleming's 859. Well, Turner, he's now up in the second place. So uh, Ravenscroft is going to just hang it out and stay. Is he still out there? Uh, he is. Um, he's nine and a half seconds after lead. So he's. Uh, I'll be interested to find out what, go, what has happened to that car. Fleming uh, in cart number eight. He's sixth. But uh, he can gain a few more points. But uh, Ravenscroft uh, in uh, 26th position. And under investigation for Guy Cunnington. Well, OK, the, the championship standings, it's uh, still Ravenscroft leading by 12 points. Let's concentrate on the race, shall we? Guy Cunnington has just slipped back to fourth place. Caden McQueen has the race lead. Thomas Turner, Lewis Mackey now moves to second place. 
So Mackie moves to P2, coming to this fourth. Then it's Fleming in the number eight, Dan Holland Cart in fifth. Behind Fleming, it's Aaron Walker, Gus Lawrence, Caleb Marshall, Sam Heading, and Jamie Rogers in the top ten. This will be Jamie's first top ten of the British karting season. The number 69 uh, KR Sport entry. Tillett is 11th, followed by Pennell, Sleater, Watson, Louis Johnson Cool, Clifford, DeLeon, Higgins, Littlewood, Scusa, Greetham, Joyce, Butterworth, Fitzgerald, Colby, and then two seconds behind everyone else, Clayton Ravenscroft and Harry Platten, and Platten has now caught Ravenscroft. I wonder what's going to happen there. They, they're heading off to the Bobby Game Corner. Ravenscroft uh, touring around. Mm, not too sure, though. And but Platten's got past him and is pulling away. Yeah. So that job done then, so... It's all sorting itself out now, and there is the confirmation on your screen. So less than seven minutes to go then, plus that one additional lap. Cader McQueen leading the way, only just look at the grandstand there. Packed full of everyone watching this Senior X30 final. A championship is at stake. A race win is at stake, and a technical flag once again to Oliver Greetham. Now, last time, of course, we thought it was the uh, the water pipe that was causing that issue. Maybe it's the same thing, but it's still all going awry here. Down the inside goes Ooh. Thomas Turner. Oh. On his teammate, Aaron Walker, who does not cut him any slack whatsoever. And Turner finds himself mired back in seventh position now. He slipped back to third in the standings. Casey McQueen, meanwhile, leading the race. He's moved into fifth position. I'm looking up and see where did he start uh, the day. Well, he started the day six, so he's gained another place in the points table up into P5 at the expense of uh, Gus Lawrence. Guy Cunnington's up at the seventh of the standings, uh, and that is Sam heading down to eighth, Lewis Mackey ninth, and Archie Till at tenth. Uh, here's Fleming having to defend... Harry Platten sets a new fastest lap of the race, and we have a change up at the front. We do indeed, yeah, because they're starting to scrap. So Lewis Mackey did originally just take the race lead there in hairpin number one. Caden McQueen said go. Lewis didn't defend, then Caden came back at him. The 52 of Guy Cunnington, who is under investigation at the moment, uh, has managed to get up into second place. That's allowing this group behind to close in. It's 1.7 seconds. Keep an eye on that delta as they next go across the start-finish line. Everyone watching from the sidelines as this final is very much heating up, especially for the championship. Five minutes to go then across the line. Points at the moment. Ravenscroft still on 872. Fleming back into second with 861 points, but he's still got several more positions to gain. Well, eight, uh, fourth place gets you 59 points. Uh, a win gets you 65. So Fleming can gain another six points. It's not going to be enough. Ravenscroft is cruising around. His cart is damaged, but he's cruising towards a British title. He is indeed. Here, though, at the front, because it's still thinking up. Like, look at that. Guy Cunnington saying think, but Caden goes defensive once again. That backs Cunnington into Mackey, and that's allowing everyone still to close in. They are still closing in at a vast rate of knots. There is Gus Lawrence, the O-plate, still latched onto the back of Fleming as they go through. This is a very close final all the way throughout because anything could happen. Yep, through that final, S's on the start-finish straight. The lead is already under the Litchfield Bridge, out onto the banking, the top three, nose to tail. McQueen for Croc promotion, who gets a warning flag. Cullington for Strawberry Racing. Mackey for Fusion Motorsport. In the uh, all-time uh, Senior X30 thing, well, uh, let's have a little look. When McQueen obviously won yesterday. Guy Cunnington, uh, he's a, a, a 2019 uh, British senior Rotax champion, but he has never. But Guy has never been on an X, a senior X30 podium in the British Championship yet. There is Fleming chasing Gus Lawrence, the O plate. That is fourth and fifth. Fleming was in fourth. He now slips back to fifth. The gap between Ravenscroft and Fleming in the championship remains. 13 points. Lewis Mackey pushing, pushing, pushing. Cunnington leading. McQueen slips back to third. And these three with three minutes to go. I mean, it 
doesn't look as though Fleming has got the pace to catch him. Neither has Turner. And that's going to be really disappointing for the pair of them. That uh, Oh, there's Turner at the inside. I, just, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. There you go. Gus Lawrence is latching on, though. And he's starting to uh, close that gap. Two and a half minutes then, plus that one additional lap. Battles still forming all over this circuit at the moment for the Senior X30 Race 36 final. For the Vera Tools British Kart Championships here. There again, a look at the top there. The, uh, the Some of the VIPs everyone. here. Yeah, they're, just, they're saying the same thing as us. Look at the gap. It's closing. It is closing. Oh, and, the, and that's, that's Toby the Beagle. <laughs> that is Toby Scusa, the family beagle, on a table. Good boy. Good boy. And that's Michelle Scusa watching. Well, she's not watching her brother Casper race because she's too busy fussing the dog. There we go. Uh, just in case she's interested, Casper is 23rd. There we go. Change of the lead, though, as uh, Cader McQueen gets back at Lewis Mackey, gets that change done. Guy Cunnington now back into third place, although, be it, he's going the long way round. He's got the switch back here again. And look at that. Lewis Mackey says, yeah, yeah OK, you go, you go. I'm not going to fight it, even though he does fight it. And uh, yep. slots back into place. <laughs> and look at this. Now oh, Turner oh. and Fleming have caught the lead group. Now they've caught the lead group. Uh, Clayton Ravenscroft is 25th. Uh, he's actually managed to fight his way past... Uh, Daniel Butterworth, his lap times 57.81. Wow, well, I mean, that last lap for Clayton Ravenscroft was only three tenths off the, the, lap, the fastest lap of the race so far. So, so whatever problem had afflicted that number 75 uh, KR Sport uh, machine has seemed to uh, Clayton has managed to rectify it potentially or get it to a fashion where he can at least race at a reasonable speed. Can Turner still win the championship, says Jofis Karatis. The answer is not likely as all. Mackey and Cunnington uh, trip over each other going into the first hairpin. They fall back. That gives Fleming and Turner a little bit more breathing space. All the leaders are all closing up. McQueen still leads. 30 seconds to go. Well, with Turner and Fleming now moving. Oh! oh! Lois Mackey just drives it in far too deep there, going into Bobby Game Corner and uh, rides up over the side of uh, Fleming's cart. But Fleming continues unabated. Uh, Lewis Mackey has to like think about it and say, right, right, what would Nanny June say? She'd say, don't. Have a word with yourself. Mm. Chill and go again. Yeah. Well, at the moment, with that timer striking zero now, Kader McQueen still leads this race by just six tenths of a second from Gus Lawrence. There is Gus Lawrence, the O plate, the winner for the O plate here in well, a few months ago. And there we go, down into hairpin one once more. Turner still there in fourth place. Fleming trying to close in, and then a huge battle oh, all yes. the way behind. Yeah, at the moment, Fleming is one point ahead of Turner for second in the championship, and that is with a Turner fourth and Fleming a Turner third and Fleming. Uh, in fourth position the PF international team has never won a round of the British Kart Championship since the start of 2019 and here at their home circuit Gus Lawrence goes into the final lap right on Caden McQueen's rear bumper well I say right on about three cart lengths off his rear bumper yep there we go so they go over the bridge now again absolutely line astern and uh, down the hill, it's going to be a close one all the way to the line for this then for Senior X30. Gus Lawrence looks down the inside, showing his nose to Cader McQueen. Doesn't think anything better of it, for, uh, says McQueen. Stays on that normal racing line, doesn't go defensive. And that's crucial, of course, because it means he's not going to lose much time. He is still losing time because still, look at that. Gus Lawrence has closed that gap in. He's reeled in Cader McQueen. But is it going to be enough with only a couple more corners to go? Cader McQueen is still leading this race race into the final complex for the final time in the final race of the season McQueen leads and Caden McQueen will complete the senior x30 double Gus Lawrence second Turner third Fleming fourth Sam heading fifth and now we wait we wait and look at the carts coming out of the final corner there's the checkered flag and Clayton Ravenscroft is the British Senior X30 
champion Stephen Vicky's baby boy is British champion again to three years after he won the Junior X30 title uh, back in the days of Super 1 and uh, there is Clayton Ravenscroft uh, smiling on the big billboard the driver from Southampton now when Clayton won the Junior X30 title he had a problem in the final round as well. It did not go smoothly. They thought they'd lost it. Or I'm sure that on the second lap when Clayton was slowing down, that uh, Steve's heart was in his mouth there. But uh, there it is. Clayton Ravenscroft for KR Sports, for Ash Orchard's team. Be interested to find out what happened and what the problem was. Ravenscroft, British champion. And we'll see some uh, good reactions now as they come in. And McQueen goes over there. Fist bump to Clayton. Uh, you can see the reactions of all the contenders. There's Thomas Turner just uh, taking the top of his uh, race suit off there, wrapping it around the river. the Sam having a chat with Sam Heading. And uh, Clayton Ravenscroft taking the time of Gus Lawrence. Uh, look there, Thomas Fleming. Time to reflect. It just wasn't to be today. But again... He took it down to the wire. Daryl DeLeon comes over. Uh, gives uh, Caden a bit of an embrace. There's Clayton Ravenscroft. And uh, well, Harry Platten gives him an embrace. They're probably talking about what happened there. DeLeon uh, congratulates Clayton Ravenscroft. That's good. There's Alex Kobe on the left of your screen. Uh, Ravenscroft looks down at the cart. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh, big hug from Alex Kobe. Uh, Daniel Butterworth there. In the background in that blue and yellow there. There we go. There you go, Clayton. Come on. And uh, I think at Kim Bolton earlier this year, he led 73 consecutive laps. <laughs> and that <laughs> bit of a laugh. Now, what's he looking down at? What's he looking down at? A screw fell out of the car. Oh, <laughs> Steve Ravenscroft, are you listening? A screw fell out. <laughs> Oh, 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 I wonder what's going to be said. Well, I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't. Clayton Ravenscroft has never done things the easy way. Uh, where's Steve? He's over there. Vicky will be there as well. His mum will be just the other side of that fence. Now we'll listen to what Clayton says to his dad. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> what happened? Why Oh. On the car, oh. air screw fell out or something like that. Air the screw, there isn't an air screw. Or whatever, you know the thing on the top of the car? <laughs> Steve. Yes! Yes! Uh, Steve, at least put the car together, Steve. <laughs> 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 fell off as well, pretty much. Is that what it was? Good job, mate. Cheers. Uh, something went wrong with the car as well, I think. <laughs> All is good. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> That oh, mate. Oh, he thought it was your car, correct? Right? Yeah, where's my car? And then the chain as well. Yeah. Oh, that's the chain too. Fucking Apologies for a bit of uh, emotional language you just heard there. But uh, there it is. Now, <laughs> I mean, they're doing in jest. There's a big Louis in there. Here's the moment now. This is where, you know, Steve, who mechanics for his son there, that's uh, that's a moment that they'll treasure forever. Um, even though Steve almost cost him a championship by not putting the car together properly. And you can see Joe Bullen, uh, the engine builder there at the back there. But uh, that's a great, great picture there. You know, the emotion you have to... You, you, we've, we've seen drivers, um, you know, lose British titles in the most heartbreaking fashion. But then there's the other side, the emotion there we've seen, you know, James Pashley and his dad. There's Clayton and Steve, <laughs> and Steve Ravenscroft. And Steve tried his best to make it interesting for us. I think that's what we're going to say. But Clayton overcame the adversity. And now he is going to speak to Anthony Jordan. Thank you very much, Henry. Yes, down in the winner's circle with once again our 2021, this time Senior X30, Vera Tools, British Cup Championship, Clayton, Ravenscroft, what a feeling that is. Yeah, it's a great feeling. It's a long time coming, that's for sure. 
Um, had a few ups and downs in the last few years. Last time we won a championship was in 2018. Uh, and now we can finally stand on our own two feet with KR Sport and KR Engines as well, doing everything by ourselves and finally getting that victory that we deserve. Great emotion with your dad, Steve, there, of course, when he came in. But, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Uh, talk us what happened at the start of that race because you uh, slowed right down. What happened? Um, yeah, we had the speed um, and we wanted to still go for the win in the race, but just a few technical difficulties. I don't know what's happened, but something just self-destructed sort of thing. And then uh, sort of found the pace again at the end. It was weird, but I was happy to still be able to finish the race. That was the main thing I wanted to do, really, and still sort of celebrate it that way. Yeah, exactly that. I'm sure big celebrations, you and the KR boys. I'm sure Ash and Louis are really happy and uh, like yourself, a great season, a great result. And to come here at PF, uh, not win the final, but to win the championship again, great feeling. And I'm sure when you saw your face on the big screen, it was a nice feeling too. Yeah, a nice feeling, but weird at the same time, me looking over myself. <laughs> I can imagine so. Well, yeah. Clayton Ravenscroft, well done. Congratulations. Enjoy your evening. And here we go. A number one plate here from Dan Parker. And a big congratulations, Clayton Ravenscroft. Well done. Thank you. Anyone you'd like to thank? Uh, everyone at KR Sport, KR Engines, Louis, Tom, Ash, my dad, my mum. This is just everyone involved put so much effort in this year and I can't thank them enough for it. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent uh, stuff there for our Senior X30 finals. More finals coming up. It's time for Mini X30. OK, ladies and gentlemen, it's Senior X30 up next. Ooh, race order, but we had to do many before. It's right, you're next. Hush. Thank you. <laughs> uh, senior X30 up next, finishing as the leading privateer. It was a bit of a rough day for him today. Not sure if he's here. It's the leading privateer, Daniel Butterworth. Nope. Let's see if uh, this next driver has remembered after last night. Finishing as the leading rookie in 23rd place overall, Alex Kobe. Also gone. Now on to the top three. Finishing in third place for Strawberry Racing, it's Thomas Turner. Oh, this is not good. Well, I'll try again. Finishing in second place for PF Karting, it's Gus Lawrence. He's here. Congratulations, Gus. P2. But your winner. Now, before we introduce your winner, uh, we have a new best mechanic for today. Uh, your winner. Katie McQueen and the winning mechanic, Dan Stilp. We've got, we had one pensioner yesterday, another pensioner today. <laughs> I think, I, oh, but you're going by there. And Daniel Parker will come across and present to you with an uh, on, on, on the plinth, on the plinth, on the plinth. Right, Caden. Um, I, I, we got Mr. Croc over there, but the old man didn't want to come up today. But first things first, fantastic man. But after absolutely giving him some stick on the podium last night, what have you got to say about uh, the old man bolting it together today and giving you your second win at the weekend? Um, thanks. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Now we've uh, complimented Andy. Uh, how, talk us through your race. Um, well, it was definitely easier than yesterday's race, starting second instead of 16th. And... Uh, just took it step by step and won the race. I mean, you know, you've, you, the, the Croc team, I mean, if you're following you for the last three years, there are more Mad Croc carts now coming up in different classes and stuff like that. You've been there from the start. You must be pleased with how the team and how the chassis is working because, you know, you, you, you know the, the, the OTK monopoly is not so much a monopoly anymore, is it? No, I mean, the, the team have done a good job as a whole in all classes. So, yeah, no, well done to them as well. And that win, you had six last year, but P5 this year. That's good then. So by 2025, you'll be British champion. <laughs> OK, congratulations. But joining them on the podium, and I think, uh, I think we'll, we'll get Katie to move aside just for one moment. But joining them on the podium, your 2021 Vera Tools 
British Senior X30 Champion. Please put your hands together for Clayton Ravenscroft. Well, you, you, you stay, stay there, but I think uh, Clayton... Uh, now Clayton's going to get uh, his number one plate. There we go. Now it's you, 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 you can go down, but um, there we go. Um, we did. We do have a special photo that uh, you know coming up there because um, Gus is shaking his head because I don't know if he knows what's coming. But um, you guys, you know, we had the, we have the mechanic, the the, the, the the wedding mechanic. I think both of you said that between. Your dad and your dad, they did their very best to cost you to cost you a British title, didn't they? Yeah, they tried to sabotage me, I think, today. <laughs> so I tell you, I tell you what, uh, what, so Steve and Andy, come up there, a good photo at the end of the year. Uh, Clayton Ravenscroft, your number one plate from uh, British Kart Championship Director, uh, Dan Parker, richly well deserved. Uh, and we just uh, pop up there, we'll have a photo with, just with, uh, with Clayton, the number one plate champion, the British champion this year. Um, I, I did have, but uh, no, and we were saying, so, I mean, we talk about karting as a family sport all, all the time, so, I mean, seriously, we'd like Andy and we'd like Steve to come up, two of the most colourful, popular dads in the paddock as well, that have helped these two drivers, so Steve and Andy, come up there for a, a one final photo opportunity. Um, I will have to say, I think, yeah, we'll do one for, one for Dan still, because, these drivers, they, they, they fight tooth and nail all season. Um, and I'll, I'll, tell you some, I'll tell you something now. Um, uh, somehow, all year, uh, Motorsport UK and the British Car Championship have been a little, a little concerned. Hello, are they breaking the podium? Steve, you can't, you, you're breaking cars, you can't break the podium as well. Uh, They've been a bit concerned. They say, Henry, occasionally you say a few things that are a little bit uh, on the commentary. Please don't swear. Myself and Anthony Jordan have done hundreds of hours of commentating all year and not slipped one swear word out. Steve Ravenscroft, he's on here for 10 seconds and drops an F-bomb at half past two in the afternoon. Thank you very much. But there we go. Again, it's what makes the British Championships so great. There we go. Clayton Ravenscroft, your British champion. And today's winner, Katie McQueen and the dads. Do you need help down there, Steve? You all right there? You okay? <laughs>